Today, we're at Glen Rose, Texas, and we're visiting Dinosaur Valley State Park. Come join us. On this episode, we will go over cost, put on our masks and check out the park store, view point of interest, and how can you forget? Check out real dinosaur tracks. You're not going to want to miss out, so stay tuned. Entrance fee to the park is $7 daily. Children under 12 are free. After passing park headquarters, you will see point of interest one. These models were featured at the 1964 and 65 New York World Fair. You can read up on cool facts about these dinosaurs too. You're not gonna wanna miss out on the Instagram photo opportunity here. We're about to check out the gift shop right now. Before visiting the park store, we needed to put on our face mask. Let's check it out and see what they have. Even the dinosaurs were wearing masks. The store has t-shirts, toys, shoes, kayak rentals, fossil rocks, and my personal favorite, state park collector pins. On your visit, you should definitely check out the store. Next, you can dive and swim with theropod tracks. We visit point of interest three, Blue Hole. The Blue Hole is a popular swimming hole here at Dinosaur Valley State Park. What's great, you don't have to walk far to get to it. The park even offers free life vests for the kiddos while visiting the swimming hole. Points of interest 2, 3, and 4 are on the Paluxy River Trail. If you work up a sweat, dive in and cool off in the river. We came to check out the different dinosaur tracks on the Paluxy River. You can clearly see the theropod tracks, which I thought was pretty cool. If you're interested in finding more dinosaur tracks, I'll post the official link below. Isaac and Peanut can't wait to check out the next point of interest. We continue down the Paluxy Trail and check out point of interest 4, Ballroom Track Site. This site gets its name from the many direction of the tracks, as if the dinosaurs were dancing. This site contains 9 very large seropod tracks. If you want to get a closer look, you're going to have to get wet. You can only imagine how these tracks were made long ago. You can cool off and step into the past with these amazing fossils. Even Peanut wanted to cool off in the Paluxy River. We put on our shoes and enjoyed the rest of the Paluxy River Trail. Before we head over to point of interest 2, the main track site, I checked out the amphitheater. This place is perfect for a picnic and to watch the latest episode of Mr. S Travel Quest. If you visit or want to learn more about Texas State Parks, consider subscribing. I post content like this all the time on the channel. We wasted no time to see point of interest 2, main track site. This area was pretty busy with people cooling off and viewing the dinosaur tracks. Clear water made it easy to view the tracks. When it rains, the tracks can be difficult to view, so check the Dinosaur Valley State Park social media pages to ensure tracks are visible during your visit. You can find most of the seropod tracks in this area. You can also view several nice theropod tracks here as well. We took our time viewing this area out. You can view the fossil location on the GPS. When you're done, you can cool off in the water. Hi Marty! So Isaac, what did you think of Dinosaur Valley State Park? It is nice. Have you visited Dinosaur Valley State Park? What did you think of this park? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Subscribe and join us on our travel across Texas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.